<coughs> so, welcome back to the shop. Today I figured I'd show you a new project I've been working on. Uh, my quick change gearbox has a gear that has a broken tooth in it. And this was my own darn fault because the gear was frozen and I forced it and broke the tooth. So, time to rectify that. To do so, um, I got some uh, brazing rod with a flux core, uh, flux coating. And uh, since I'm a cheapskate and I didn't want to get an ox oxygen uh, map set, I actually got one of these um, uh, torches. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight unit and this is a tank of propane. So I'm actually quite impressed this torch was able to braze with just plain propane. The torch is actually not bad. It does the work. Uh, but you can tell the quality. They, they didn't even uh, put the sticker straight. Let's rectify that. Alright, so enough about the torch. Um, piezoelectric started apparently. And uh, I don't know, it's about 15 bucks. It's actually a pretty decent torch for the money you pay. And this is the gear. A glob of um, basically brass on there, brazed on. Um, I didn't film this part and the reason for it is it's one of the first times I've ever brazed, especially with propane, so I just wanted to concentrate on what I was doing. And uh, well, that said, so far, the gear is otherwise in fairly decent condition. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, and I will do so, but for now it just needs to be put on the lathe and trued up so I can um, uh, take an analysis and see how much material I have to work with and if I have to braise it again. Uh, I'm still debating on whether I want to fill a little bit more in the back over here. It seems like there's a slight void. Basically a 64th it looks like, so I don't know if it's going to be a big deal or not, we'll see. But for now I just want to cut this down and uh, see how it holds up. Alrighty, on to the lathe. I figured I'm gonna be um, cutting the teeth on this gear now that it's been turned down and somewhat cleaned up I need to cut both sides of the tooth profile so to do that I actually have to copy a tooth uh, just so happens this gear over here that I initially bought this is a Boston gear initially bought so I can turn it down into one of these gears I'm keeping this on the side for the moment. The reason for it is um, I actually have another use for one of these gears, exactly the same diametral pitch and everything. And uh, if I can actually fix the original gear, well, that saves me, I don't know, these things are like $30 a piece. It's crazy. So, with that said, what I did was I actually took the bit that I'm planning on using. And I surface ground the top flat. Uh, this is what the bits look like normally, and it's, I don't know, it has a texture to it. I wanted a flat texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take black Sharpie and mark the tip. Let that dry. What I'm going to do is, being that this has nice crisp teeth on it, I'm going to line it up 
Bye. Use the other bit as a shim so it sits flat. Get some more light in here. And uh, get this done. bed has been cut and it's nearly a perfect fit in there I honed the sides of it and it's definitely a good fit on the existing gear actually I may use this to actually deburr the gear um, now we have to index this and put this thing on the shaper. So I figured I'll show you guys this. And, um, well, I cut the first side of the tooth and it looks like it's doing fine. What I did was I bolted the two gears together so they index each other. And now I'm, uh, um, I use a shaper to cut the first profile and it looks like it's pretty darn close and um, now it's the next profile so the way I did this to index this is a small Um, I used a square and an indicator to make sure the device was trammed in and then I uh, put a square in to make sure that the bit was actually comes down square and uh, what I do is I go on the forward gear and I plunge the bit all the way down to the bottom of its travel loosen up the vise and that the gear basically rests on top of my shop made parallels and I go in and I take, make sure that things are square on both sides which they are Being that there's not much traction here, I have to uh, take very fine cuts. Rotating the machine by hand. Does clear. Now, time to start cutting.
What does Tom Lipton always say? Filing is good for the soul. show you guys the rest of this so the middle tooth that one is uh, the one that's made out of pure brass the other two are just simply wetted with brass I cleaned it up a little bit of deburring with the file the gears seem to mesh pretty darn good together as well as with the new factory gear they mesh pretty darn good so, um, I'm satisfied with the work so far, and these will go back in the lathe at some point. I'm actually thinking about uh, rebuilding the gear teeth on my um, uh, forward and reverse tumbler the same way. We'll see. I have uh, it's the same diametral pitch and same depth, so I guess I have the high speed high, high speed steel tool to do it. So share, like, not like, subscribe, not subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. But uh, thanks for watching and welcome to my channel. Bye.